Hi there, this is Solitaire Owen from Solitaire Owen Films and welcome to another One Director, Four Films. Um, today, it's Canada's own David Cronenberg, a filmmaker who somehow I think is underrated. A filmmaker that is always pretty much ahead of the game um, and only... 50 years from now, people actually realise what a great filmmaker he actually is. Um, so again, this series is all about your opinions. So, a fundamental Cronenberg film, a film that encapsulates Cronenberg, your favourite, an underrated gem, and a flounder, the Cronenberg film that doesn't quite land with you, um, or is the one that you kind of watch the least. So Cronenberg has so many great films but I think as an example of everything he's great at I'm gonna go with Crash. Um, not the film that won the Oscar of the same name. Um, this is almost the perfect Cronenberg film. It's challenging, it's difficult, um, it's intelligent. One of the great things about Cronenberg is he is ridiculously smart, but he's also really humble and he's great at commentaries and he never comes across as being ridiculously smart. It's maybe the Canadian in him. Um, I do love an artist who doesn't blow their own trumpet. I'm sure we could think of several directors that um, fit that bill. Um, Crash, again, it's about sexuality, it's about the body, it's about technology, it's about society evolving um, and becoming something else. It's about a jaded couple, it's beyond sex, it's beyond violence, it's beyond human experience um, as all well not as always but as quite a lot of the time it has a really underrated Howard Shore um, understated score by Howard Shore um, and I think it encapsulates everything that's kind of great about Cronenberg um, and it also has a bit of a sense of humour, which again I think is a really underrated part of Cronenberg's films. Um, a lot of his films are actually quite funny. And um, for my favourite, again, Crash could be in that conversation as well. But just for the sake of the exercise, I'm going to pick a different one. And it's Dead Ringers. Which um, was perhaps a step away from his body horror but again Cronenberg for me was never really interested in horror he was just using metaphors and devices within genre filmmaking um, he always had kind of different goals than your average horror meister not that there's anything wrong with your average horror meister um, so Dead Ringer still has some of that body again it's challenging it's a little bit transgressive you know it's about lady parts oh no um it has as you can see here there's wonderful um tools again technology metal um he has a very metal director as well um great performance by jeremy irons and his twin brother, Dave Irons, um, both wonderful actors. Genevieve Bujold, a great performance. Again, it's it has that almost kind of trance-like 
element of um, Cronenbergian um, surgery is just like born um, together, melded together, um, and it's just a wonderful, wonderful film. Underrated. I suppose he has one or two that are underrated, but just by the lack of a Blu-ray, whereas pretty much um, all of his films have Blu-ray releases, apart from Spider from 2002. Again, this is a smaller film. Um, Ray Fiennes with one of his best performances um, as somebody who is mentally ill and on the fringes of society. Great support by Miranda Richardson and Gabriel Byrne um, and Lynn Redgrave. It's a really grimy, dirty, cheery um, film that again is challenging, it's not for everybody. Um, and again, Cronenberg, even though he has certain obsessions and certain themes, he has done um, lots of slightly different films and odd films. I mean, again, this is another one later in his career, he kind of stopped doing original scripts um, and other people wrote for him, but they still have that Cronenbergian feeling to them. Um, and again, Spider really needs a Blu-ray release. Um, imprint or indicator is the kind of film that's right up um, their street. So for The Flounder, again there's maybe a couple of choices and again they're not bad films, I just haven't seen them enough times probably. Um, you could perhaps argue M. Butterfly, which I haven't seen for years, there is a Shout Select Blu-ray in Region A that I need to pick up. Um, to almost complete my Cronenberg masterpiece on Blu-ray. Obviously Spider needs a Blu-ray to complete the masterpiece. Um, but I'm not going to go away in Butterfly because it's been a long time since I've seen it. I'm going to go with The Dangerous Method, which again is still a good film. Um, good performances. Viggo Mortensen has become um, Cronenberg's latter day muse almost. Um, It's, it's a good film. It's not a bad film. Cronenberg doesn't really have a bad film as far as I'm concerned. Um, but for the purposes of this exercise, A Dangerous Method with Freud and Young um, is my flounder. But again, this series is all about your comments. Um, I'm having lots of fun reading them. Um, so again, let me know the fundamental Cronenberg film, the one Cronenberg film, if you had to show somebody who's never seen a Cronenberg film before, your favourite, an underrated gem, and the one that you just don't really like as much as the others. So thanks very much for watching. Don't worry, there's more of these episodes to come, whether you like it or not. This is Solid Ronan from Solid Ronan Films, saying farewell.